Hi guys, welcome to Delivery Studios. This is another bumper package uh, of Android programming. We're going to take this in series. Uh, we're going to be consuming a complex API which has a uh, lot of uh, two lists inside uh, a list. So we're going to actually uh, make it work uh, using Retrofix and we'll be displaying this uh, on larger Android screens like the tablet using the master detail flow. I uh, will also be using ExoPlayer uh, to get the video URL uh, playing. Uh, basically, we'll be creating a baking app uh, with uh, this uh, JSON file uh, which you'll be pointing at uh, right there in the cloudfront.net uh, uh, server. We'll be consuming this baking JSON and if we we'll look at the structure of the JSON, uh, we have started with an array uh, right there. After that, you have uh, the first layer, which uh, we have how many items up to six items. Uh, you could see that. Uh, so we'll be uh, decompiling deeper into this uh, JSON. And uh, the first object is uh, an ID name with an ingredient array, which is a list and uh, we'll be having the steps also a list so we're going to be dealing with up to three different arrays in this uh, JSON so I'll be showing you on how to actually get this done it's quite simple I'll just employ you to use uh, the JSON schema project uh, which is uh, very handy uh, let's look at that uh, the JSON schema project JSON can you see that uh, just visit uh, the site uh, you get to uh, copy the bunch of your JSON uh, structure into this and you generate the plain old Java object called Pojo uh, which is going to be of JSON schema and you could have the pass label you could have serializable you could have a setter and getter you could uh, also have a constructor and different data types you really want to so this out of the box is going to generate the podio for you just paste your json here and generate that uh, let's head straight to android studio uh, where i have the structure of this application uh, but before i continue with that i would like to show you how this application is going to look like uh, right in the emulator you have the bacon tutorial where you have five four rather four different desserts the nut fella nutella pie brownies yellow cake and cheesecake uh, these are different uh, desserts that uh, you could learn how to make them a click on the not not sell up high will give you uh, the list of ingredients and the steps to get this uh, done uh, we're going to be uh, using uh, the heterogeneous style of uh, recycler view where you get to use the view type and uh, get that into uh, one recycler view you won't be uh, using two recycler view to get this done just a recycler view with two different view holder will get this displayed for you which won't look buggy it's very fluid and uh, cool to scroll so we'll be covering all this a click on uh, this uh, will get you to the video uh, where you will be using exo player to play uh, this uh, instruction uh, so we'll be covering all this right there in this series uh we'll be taking them one step at a time i'll be uh rushing you through the first step is let's create uh the let's consume the json uh using retrofit and let's display uh the cards for all uh the desserts we have which is four in number the nut seller pie uh brownies yellow cake and cheesecake so after that we'll move to other implementation which is uh, the detail where we have the master detail flow in here uh, because you are actually using uh, uh, let's say a phone uh, if you're using uh, a tablet you'll be having the master de detail flow when uh, you, you swivel or when you rotate uh, the device so we'll be covering all this in this series don't go anywhere so let's get this started would you all start your application from the view gradle because uh, there are some salient dependencies uh, that are very very important when you're trying to set up Android. We'll need to retrofit 
uh, we'll need the OK HTTP interceptor. If you have that, uh, we'll need, need that for login. So we could get uh, to see uh, the communication between uh, the, the, the app and the, the API right there on the log card. So you could debug easily. You have the exo player, uh, the card view, uh, form tech light if you need to display picture. Uh, you, we have the Google Code JSON where we'll be converting uh, the array. We'll be try to extract the JSON from the bunch of string array and the recycler view, the support design, the app compact so it could be uh, compatible with uh, our previous Android APIs that's the source of the app compact so all these will go into the dependencies and I'll start with the layout I'll focus uh, basically on the first layout which uh, is the activity main where we get to uh, display uh, the the desserts, the, uh, the, the baking items we want to talk about. We have that right there in the frame layout and they have a recycler view to get that done with the list item which is the recipe card. Uh, we have uh, all the recipe right there in the card which you can see uh, the card view, uh, the image, the recipe image, the text view of the recipe and uh, so on. So you have that uh, setup after there, we will get to look at the networking. How are we going to use Retrofit to uh, consume this bunch of API? Uh, we'll look at Retrofit uh, from the networking package. We'll create a package called Networking where all networking, all base URL, all uh, endpoints, and the service will be going into uh, this. Uh, we'll start up by creating the routes. Uh, we have the route file over here. Let's get to look at the routes. In the routes, uh, it's an interface uh, where we are, you have the base URL and the endpoint. Uh, this you could. The essence of this is just to break down uh, the long URL. Basically, uh, you have the domain which is not changing, uh, like Google.com, uh, YouTube.com. It's actually not changing, but what will be changing is the path uh, to the API that could be changing, that's, that could serve as the endpoint. So we just break it down to have the uh, URL this way, while the bacon.json will be the endpoint. Uh, after that, you have that right in the route, and uh, you create the generator uh, uh, folder, uh, which could have different kind of generator, how you want to manipulate uh, the the base URL and the, if you are adding an interceptor, if you are adding an API key, uh, if you are logging uh, to the console, if you are changing some formats, uh, probably the date format you need to be presented, if you are serializing, uh, serializing nulls and so on. A lot of implementation goes into the service generator. You could see uh, we have the JGS on over here that enable complex map key serialization. You could set the date format to long data type, set pretty printing, you set the version uh, and uh, also create that. Uh, you could add the token if you want to. You could log to cart and you could set the OK HTTP with timeout with the connection timeout and you could catch as well. Uh, this is the debug so you could have that set up uh, where you get to see the flow in the log card or the Android monitor. and uh, you see create retrofit you build up if you're also integrating API key you add an interceptor here and intercept to the header and place the API key to authenticate the call so you have that set up too in the API folder this is where the service goes into uh, where you get to create an interface uh, where you have all your verb the get the delete the put the parts and so on now you point to the route endpoint uh, you've set up the base URL already in the data service generator. Now let's see what we're going to know. have. You're calling on the JSON array. So that's the response you're expecting. Uh, you have the fetch baking data as the method you'll be pointing to. Let's see how we're going to uh, interact with this service. You'll be doing that from the main activity. Uh, the main activity over here. It extends the app compact and uh, you have your own create method where you call the recycler view. Uh, the the content view is the activity main which I explained 
that basically has uh, the, the recycle view. So you have that right there. You call the recycle view and uh, you set a speak size. Uh, you could have the layout manager. That depends on the kind of layout you need. Is it linear? Is it um, grid? And uh, so on. You have your load data. In the load data, you're going to uh, communicate with the API where you call the JSON array. You uh, have the NQ when you call NQ and uh, you override the unresponse and the unfailure method. In the unresponse, uh, if it's successful, you get to extract the body, uh, that's the structure, that's the full JSON. You pass that to a string called list string. And what you're going to do, you're going to use the type token from the JSON uh, to convert the string to a readable JSON. Uh, you're going to be using a helper method over here called get list from JSON uh, that takes a string as a parameter and the type. So it's going to test if it's valid. If not, it's going to return null. But if it's valid, it's going to instantiate and uh, create a JSON uh, from uh, that is going to call JSON to create the JSON format over here from JSON. And you're going to get that in the JSON format, uh, which you're going to be passing to the baking list. So from here, you're going to extract a readable JSON. This list is what you will need to set to the adapter over here called the recipe adapter uh, that's going to actually bind those views for you. Now, let's get to look at the adapter, uh, which is the first screen we're talking about. Let's get the recipe or the dessert name uh, set up. The adapter via the recipe adapter. It extends recycle view, and you have the adapter view order. Uh, you have the recipe adapter constructor that takes those value from uh, the activity calling it. You have the context, and you have the recipe list. So you need to initialize that with where you have uh, locally, yeah. So it could be reusable. In the uncreate view order, you inflate the recipe card. Uh, which is going to serve as the item and uh, in the unbind view order you get to bind data but before you look at the unbind view order you look at the view order itself that extends the recycler view order and uh, this is where you get to initialize all the items on the card uh, you have the title and image basically you will be using the title and uh, from there you could set a listener to the view order and on click listener when you're going to uh, get that to order activity but before that you get to look at the bind view order what's the bind view order going to do the bind view order it's uh, it's going to actually get the list for you uh get the position uh this way you get to extract the name from the pojo uh we've not talked about the pojo generated so let's quickly look at the pojo generated while well, we have the model uh this, these are the po pojo generated from the json schema uh, where you have the baking process as the base uh, that houses the ID, the name, the ingredients, the list of ingredients, and the list of steps. Uh, you also have the serving and the string image. So this implements pass label where you could just call. We won't be, we won't be pushing a lot of uh, put extras. So we'll be doing a lot of uh, listing, like put pass label extra. Uh, we'll be lifting almost all objects in this uh, pojo. So you have for the ingredients specific list and for the step list as well. So you will all generate this if you use that method I told you where you have the serialized name and you expose that as well. So cool. Back to the recipe adapter. Uh, now we have the unbind view order and uh, you we're going to set a listener to uh, the view order and then this listener you will be pushing down to the recipe detail activity. The only extra you need to add is going to be uh, the baking process list. Just that, which you have as a click data item. Uh, so that's just only thing you need to push down as an extra because of the help of the pass label we're using very, very fast. Now you get to uh, pass that uh, with the intent to the recipe detail activity and you start 
the activity uh, because you're actually calling dict from an adapter you need to call the context which is just like the activity calling it so you're passing that to the recipe detail activity I uh, will get to look at the recipe detail activity in the next uh, in the next tutorial so we will have to break this and make it short and uh, make it enjoyable as well so I will implore you to catch me in the next video where we'll be talking about the detail activity where we'll be integrating the uh, mass detail flow for uh, for bigger screen for prior for tablets and at the same time we'll be uh, making it work for uh, a portrait screen which is uh, uh, basically for phone and also portrait screens as well so we're actually going to be uh, making that work and uh, after that we'll be integrating exo player to play the video of the steps to make the particular design uh, in the manifest you just need to uh, make your uh, the app name and declare the recipe detail we'll get to look at the recipe detail in the next tutorial please don't go anywhere share this video uh, stay close to Delaray Studios they have lots to talk about uh, right there in this series so let's look back to our app so cool uh, yeah we are only covering the, the baking tutorial uh, list where we're going to have the Nutella pie brownies yellow cake and cheesecake so uh, cover that catch me up in the next video bye bye for now